another greeting party. So let's say hello. Well, a party. Let's win it. Machine gun fire! Get your shield up and get moving! Kicking your heels, man. Don't back down. Where did that come from? Okay, yo, I know. I know you suck. Do you know? Ain't no enemy here, yo. Be it just learn English. Jesus, on the way, stuff. No, they're human. Sure, we should shoot them. And how see. in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Uh, shoot huh. one at least. Weapon and scavengers. See. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? No, we're gonna die now. The kids is gonna kill us. Wow. So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. 
Let's kill them now. Uts no, do sun no. Iyo, mo kurosh chou yo, ni chan. They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now. Hey, I said to drop your weapons. Are you deaf? It wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. Wow. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Yeah, make some shoes, please. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. Yankee? No future! I'm a rebel. Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. The lead out! Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. Happy All meal. part of the thrill, right, brother? I don't keep brother of us. I hate you. You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? Playing with Smith. Base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Me? What's up? Ugh. Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air, too! This is bullshit! I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky! Yeah, okay. Alright! Let's take care of the aerial threat. Like that? We ain't no pushovers, bitches! Over 
Come le video Come Oh shit, don't this boy have a guitar? Shit again. Shut up and jump! That scrap head is really starting to bug me. ロッポンギでもレッドアラートです。警備工事中のグランラーサーから機能停止信号。警報に侵入した連中だな。え、そのようです。グランラーサー。さっき、さっき。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。ただの密
whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Chinese. Robots. Oh. I call them scrapheads. But I then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans, he seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work in. That's a man. never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius, the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrappers that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. So the K-Squad is gonna win.